Hey, what's up, guys? All right, so I called it. I fucking called it in my last Lucha Prediction video on Boku no Hero Academia. I fucking called it. I knew, I, like I said in that video, I said that at some point, throughout this arc, either unconsciously or consciously, Aerie will use her ability on Deco to heal all the damage done to him so he can actually use his full strength, use his arms, use his legs, use everything with one for all. And she did it in this chapter. Now, it was a little confusing at first when she did it because I thought that maybe someone had jumped in and, like, when Deku was about to kick Chisaki as he was coming after uh, him and Aerie, I thought maybe someone had thrown him up in the air like a dragon chick or Froppy or someone had used their ability to make him go flying in the air, and that's the reason why he was able to dodge it. But no, the fact that Aerie had actually used her ability to heal him, and him unconsciously using 100% of uh, full cow, actually sent him flying into the air just from the um, air pressure alone. So he was able to dodge that, and he realized right away that holy shit, I'm, I'm using 100% and my body is not completely wrecked. Of course, as soon as he stopped touching Aerie, the damage went back to, you know, the normal state. So he, as soon as he landed on the ground and put her down, he felt the full effect of using his full cow. So basically, at least for the time being, he has to be in full contact with Aerie in order to actually keep the damage from being reversed. Which is what he actually decides to do at the end of the chapter. When Chisaki confronts him at the end of the chapter and says, basically, hey, give me Aerie. I'm, I'm the only one who can control her powers with my ability. He says, no, fuck that. He goes full cow 100%. He holds Aerie on his back and says, hey, Aerie, I'm going to give you a piggyback ride. We're going to take this guy down, and then you're going to go home to your family. Or, actually, she doesn't have a family. Chisaki's actually kind of her only relative besides her grandpa. I don't know. I, I'm, kinda, I'm a little confused about exactly how Chisaki's related to her. But, yeah, basically, at this point, it's just going to be uh, Deku using full cow versus Chisaki using some kind of, like, weird mesh version of his powers with one of his um, followers' powers. I'm not exactly sure who's he's using at that point. He he basically just looks like a weird monster. Like, his lower half is just like a weird monster, and then his upper half is just normal. At this point, I'm not exactly sure who, who he fused with to get that like that. I don't know. It's It was just a little weird. But, yeah, just basically Deku versus Chisaki. Now, I was a little disappointed in Night Eye when we saw him earlier in the chapter because he was still spouting the analysis of, like, the future can't be changed, yada yada. And at first it seemed like he was kind of right because everyone was like, all right, well, we can't really do anything. We see everyone try to get up there to help Deku and they can't, they just basically can't manage to move anymore. But he actually turned around near the end of it, like, when he when he starts replaying back Deku saying that he's going to break through his prediction and yada yada like that. He basically turned around and says, he basically asks the people who actually can move and who can do anything left to go help Lemillion, who I still think is going to get regain his abilities. Like I think Eri at some point is going to gain full control of her power and re and basically restore his abilities. Or if not that, like I said, since her powers is to the reverse time, his powers are probably just dormant again and they'll reactivate in a few years, a few months, who knows? But yeah, like I said, I it takes away the impact from his sacrifice, but at the same time. Uh, after thinking about it, I'm a little glad that the character is going to be able to go on, could actually dig the character, and i like to see him show up in future fights, you know, be a big help, be a supporting character for Deku. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty much it for the chapter review. I usually don't do the Book No Hero Academy reviews, but since I was right about my, my prediction, I had to do one for this one. So, uh, yeah, probably will do one for next week, too. But that's it for the video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, drop me a like, subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. Comment down below your thoughts. Check out my Black Clover review. It should be going up around the same time as this. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace.